to the Court of Appeal for Ontario regarding the motion for retrial in the case of Wei Zhen, Tang, Case Hash, C-56745, Motion for Retrial 1, Introduction. The defendant, Wei Zhen Tang, respectfully submits this motion for a retrial under Section 11-D of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which guarantees guarantees the right to a fair trial before an independent and impartial tribunal. This motion is based on the fact that the jury in the trial was not composed of my peers and was unable to fairly and accurately assess the complexities of the case, violating my right to a fair trial. Two, grounds for retrial one, impartial jury and representation of peers under Section 11 D of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the defendant is entitled to a trial by an impartial tribunal, including a jury that represents a fair cross-section of society and the defendant's peers. In this case, the jury failed to to include individuals from my community and business sphere who are familiar with my character, professional practices, and the intricacies of investment management. The absence of members from my community, particularly investors, and those with knowledge of financial markets, significantly impacted the jury's ability to understand and fairly assess the evidence, the individuals best suited to serve as impartial jurors. Those familiar with complex financial strategies were excluded, depriving me of a fair opportunity to present my defense to those who could empathize with or understand the context of my actions. Two, complexity of the case and juries understanding the case involved complex financial transactions, international investment strategies, and business practices that require a sophisticated understanding of finance. The jury, composed of individuals unfamiliar with these complexities was not equipped to make informed decisions about my actions and intentions. In Canadian law, juries are expected to understand the evidence presented to them in order to deliver a just verdict. Given the technical nature of the financial matters at the heart of this case, there is reason to believe that the jury lacked the expertise to fully appreciate the defense's arguments, which would have influenced the outcome of the trial. 3. Failure to fairly consider defense. My community members and investors, who were excluded from the jury, are my true peers. They are familiar with my business practices and the nuances of the investment strategies that were put on trial. Their exclusion limited the jury's ability to fairly consider the defense, thereby violating my right to a tribunal that is both impartial and representative of my peers, as guaranteed under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Three. Conclusion. For the reasons stated above, the defendant respectfully requests that this court grant a retrial. The failure to provide a jury of peers with the necessary expertise to understand the case deprived the defendant of a fair trial, as guaranteed under Section 11D of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. A new trial is necessary to ensure justice and restore public confidence in the judicial process. Respectfully submitted. Weijin Tang. Impressment colloquially, the press or the press gang refers to the act of taking men into a navy by force and with or without notice. Navies of several nations use forced recruitment by various means.